This demon Buddha is brazenly spreading Buddhism within the demon clan. What's more is that I heard that many of the strong characters within the demon clan have been secretly practicing Buddhism. But they've been hiding it too well and we can't even find a trace of it. The opportunity will come, let's just ignore the matters regarding the Buddhist clan. The great tribulation will arrive soon, this is a big opportunity for our demon clan that will allow us to return to our former glory. At the moment, the Buddhist clan has nothing to worry about. The more important thing we have to worry about now is to fight for the destiny of the tribulation. But in the end, the Buddhist clan will be a hidden danger. Who cares about some Buddhist clan when they are all part of our demon clan in the end? They think they can escape from the palm of my hand just because they practice a few Buddhist techniques? Our demon clan's ins and outs are far from ordinary. The great clan elder's words are insightful. Central Zone Human King, G Family Black Moon House who cares, that's not important. As long as I have my son, leading the G family will be inevitable. I will bring back my ancestors' former glory. Come in. Father. The younger generation of the G family, G Shinshin. He's less than 150 years old but has already reached the heavenly realm. The great Daoyuan tribulation is approaching soon. What are your plans? Fight for it. Don't worry, father. I will fight hard to obtain this great destiny not only for the Ji family but for the whole human race. I'll let the world know that my human King Ji family is the foundation of the human race. Great, your father believes in you, so you must strive to obtain the great destiny. Father, the Tianyu Tower is looking for her. What are your thoughts on this matter? Father, no matter if it was previously right or wrong, how can we let others interfere in the matters of our Ji family? Since we're part of the Ji family's bloodline, the Tianyu Tower is really reaching their hands too far. No matter if father likes or hates her, Tianyu Tower's rules cannot be applied to the members of our Ji family. Since we're part of the Ji family's bloodline, then how can we be bound by the Tianyu Tower's rules? Then what do you think we should do? We'll cut off the Tianyu Tower's overreaching hand, because it's past time for us to show our power and remind everyone that our Ji family is still the Central Zone's ruler. The Great Tribulation is about to come. So our G family will take action and gather the will of the people, cross this tribulation together, and establish rules. The human race must not have internal conflict at this time. Ha ha, good, very good. It seems that my son has the disposition of a human king, so go on and do it. A great wave of disturbances has suddenly appeared in the once peaceful central region. The young master of the G family, G Shinshin, suddenly emerged, and with three blows, heavily injured the newly promoted saintess of the Tianyu Tower, as well as killed another Tianyu Tower elder with a singular blow. At the same time, many other successors of the other human king families have begun to take action as well. Ji Xinxin's emergence means that the Ji family is starting to prepare for the great Daoyuan tribulation. The Ji family's young master, but he's also my elder brother. You are, it seems that the Tianyu Tower is looking for you. Grandfather, you don't need to worry because the Tianyu Tower won't be able to find me on such short notice. Ji Shinshin is still a domineering powerhouse. The Ji family's young master, Ji Shinshin. Back then I brought you out of the central zone, but we were blocked by the Tianyu Tower. But it was precisely that mighty young man who entered the scene in such a domineering manner that intimidated the Tianyu Tower so that we could leave the central zone without a hitch. The Ji family dates back to ages ago. They're an ancient human king family. I wonder if the Ji family ancestor from back then already reached the Daoyuan realm? This Daoyuan realm, so far I only know that Kuan he has reached the Daoyuan realm, he rose to prominence in the last era, and he's the only Daoyuan realm we know of. From those human kings from back then, I wonder how many still exist, and how many have passed away. Haha, <laughs> this old man finally has the disposition of a heavenly realm cultivator. This old man is beyond saving, isn't it just breaking through two small stages? He's actually this happy? Let me go out and display my power for a bit. Beep, beep, wait for me to break through to the heavenly realm. I will absolutely kill this beep. This pisses me off. What's wrong with the family head? He's just randomly yelling every so often. This old man goes out and shows off, but he eventually can't beat them. So he comes back all gloomy and lets off some steam. What a weirdo. Whatever, in the future I won't help him improve his strength anymore. Ding, you have remained at home and carried out the Heavenly Dao plan, bringing the northern region into the Heavenly Dao, rewarded with the 36 Dao rules. 
every minuscule detail regarding the northern region is all within my line of vision. It's like as long as I want to, I'm able to know each and every thought of all living beings in the northern region. The battlefield from the ancient times, secret and hidden realms, races that are springing up, I can see it all clearly. The rumored and long dead races, at this moment in time, are breathing their last breaths in the secret realm, however, their strength is incomparable to that of the human race. The eighth stage of the Tao realm. This increase in strength was really too easy, if it were not for the heavenly Tao plan, how could I have increased my cultivation this fast? Receive the thirty-six Tao rules. The ninth stage of the Tao realm. Breaking through a realm and experiencing the strength increase is really refreshing. Next, I have to create a plan for the heavenly Tao of the northern region, in order to improve the heavenly Tao. I need to make great efforts to increase the strength of the northern region. When I used the heavenly Tao to look down at the northern region, I saw quite a lot of hidden secrets, including ancient battlefields and secret realms. The blood fiend race was the most peculiar, as they could use the blood demonic chi to revive themselves, so they could be seen as practically immortal. In addition, the blood fiend race was cruel, were addicted to killing and were bloodthirsty, so it's really a disastrous and frightening race that appeared in the Ninth Daoyuan Tribulation. As long as it was a battle, as long as people died, as long as blood flowed, then there wouldn't be a lack of the blood demonic chi. Even if it's a secret technique, or rare treasures they cannot fully purify the evil, which basically means that this blood fiend race will essentially never be fully exterminated. This is the ninth extermination that occurred in the Ninth Daoyuan Tribulation, the Great Battle the terrifying race which emerged as a result of the resentment from the ninth Daoyuan tribulation. Before I use the heavenly Tao to purify the blood fiend race, I need to make some preparations. I need to use the chaos stone and refine it into a heavenly Tao talisman, so that it can withstand the great Tao's purification. Then I need to integrate this heavenly Tao talisman into the primordial Tao crystal and connect it with the great Tao. Then I need to use the blood demonic chi from the ancient battlefield and integrate it into the heavenly Tao to purify it. Once the blood demonic chi is purified, it will become a surging source of energy that can be directly poured into the northern region. This feeling. It feels like I'm about to break through. When a divine realm appears, it will bring the heavenly Tao many returns, causing the heavenly Tao to make great leaps. The more powerful beings there are here, the stronger the heavenly Tao gets. Even though the northern region is part of the human race's territory, it contains not only humans but also some small races hiding in secret realms, which are on their last legs. There aren't even that many, so let's bring these small races back to the northern region. Having a wide variety of living beings within is also beneficial to the heavenly Tao. Spirit child, the situation seems off. We are the earth spirit race. What if they force us back to the northern region? You need to protect our race, you are one of our race's spirit child. Don't worry, if we return to the northern region, I, Ding Yu, will protect the earth spirit race. No matter what, I've taken so many treasures of the earth spirit race, I can't allow them to get bullied. Don't worry, the earth spirit race will be fine. Great king, something seems off in the northern region, our secret realm seems to be returning back to it, you must protect our race. This youth from the human race is formidable, he won against the entire winged ape race alone. I wonder if he can protect my race. Changes in the northern region. Is the Daoyuan Great Tribulation starting? It shouldn't be the time for it yet. Is it maybe related to Master? Don't worry. As long as the winged ape race is not hostile to the human race, it will be alright. I won't let anyone disturb you. Thank you, Great King. Our winged ape ancestors were too violent and warlike and ended up offending an expert. He hunted us down and we eventually decline to this state. Right now, we only hope to continue to produce offspring and make sure our race doesn't die out. Purifying this ancient battleground alone took me ten days. It shows how extraordinary the blood fiend race is. There are still a few smaller ancient battlegrounds where the blood fiend race already spawned, it's just their power hasn't fully developed. I need my disciples to have a better understanding of the blood fiend race. They will be able to deal with them more efficiently during the Great Tribulation. Ding Yu, Wang Luo, Xiao Liang. Ping Fan can be included as well. It's only right to join the Great Tribulation and fight for fortune. He is already at the third stage of the Honorable Realm. The race that fights against tribulations, the Blood Fiend race will appear in the ancient battleground. You guys should familiarize yourself with their information. 
Yes, master. His power isn't that strong, he's not even in the emperor realm, since he has the ability to revive, let's wait for him. You should be able to feel it through the heavenly Tao, after they are exterminated, they will start to emerge again, depending on the extent of destruction, revival might take some time. But after they revive, they are no longer the one that died before, he might have some resemblance, but he is actually a brand new existence. You can consider them as newborns, and their strength will be weaker than before. That might be the only shortcoming for the blood fiend race. It actually makes sense if you think about it. It's scary enough that they can revive. If it's without any cost, that will be heaven defying. There will definitely be an opportunity of life in the great tribulation. Strange, the revived blood fiend race is actually merging with other fallen members and getting stronger. If it was a big battle, there would be countless fallen blood fiends. If a newborn merged with all of them while reviving, how strong would he be? Deity realm? Also, is there a limit to how many times it can be revived? Fallen heavenly realm can merge into the deity realm. Fallen deity realm can merge into the Tao realm. Fallen Tao realm can merge into the Tao Yuan realm? I think the blood fiend race can not only fight the Tao Yuan great tribulations, but even the great Tao tribulation. Looks like I have to reconsider the plan of deployment for the tribulation. The horror of the blood fiend race, even if they are not the race to fight against the great Tao tribulations, they will definitely be the one to start it. The blood fiend race has no limits on their merging below the heavenly realm, certain limits for the deity realm, and for the Tao realm. I can't, a mysterious power is obstructing, I better stop deducing, regarding their merging for the Tao realm, that's definitely possible. I am not strong enough, if I am in the Tao Yuan realm, I will be able to deduce it, I have to raise my strength quickly and enter the Tao Yuan realm. Let's hope the heavenly Tao plan can proceed faster, if I can devour seven realms or eight realms, that will be enough for me to enter the Tao Yuan realm. It's been half a mo, finally one has been revived. He's stronger, he is at the first stage of the emperor realm. He merged from countless fallen blood fiends so he is stronger. Below the heavenly realm, they can merge and become stronger limitlessly. If that's the case, then the more blood fiends that die, the more powerful newborns there will be? It's endless? Master, is there no way to destroy them completely? This is the law of the race that fights against tribulation. During this tribulation, there will be an opportunity of light for them as well. You guys will have to find a way. If it was just the Tao Yuan Great Tribulation, the blood fiend race wouldn't be so horrifying. They would be easy to exterminate. But now that they are involved with the Great Tao Tribulation, what's after the Tao Yuan Great Tribulation? Listening to the tone of the master, it seems like we are not just entering the next Tao Yuan after the tribulation. Work harder, fight for the great fate and fortune and rise up in this Dao Yuan tribulation. Master hopes that in this great tribulation, you guys will be able to break through to the Dao realm, maybe even. The two of you can just wander around this ancient battleground. The ghost race is special. If any fallen warriors have a threat of soul remaining, they can convert them into the ghost race. The ghost race in this great tribulation will definitely rise up. But they still won't be able to fight against the blood fiend race. Qining, Black Moon, Xiangxing, Qianming, Hu Tianya and Devil Buddha have all entered to familiarize with the Blood Fiend race. Let the disciples get used to fighting the Blood Fiend race, even better if they can discover their weakness and the method to deal with them. If possible, we need to stop the Blood Fiend race from giving birth to stronger experts. The Heavenly Dao current first choice is the Eastern Prefecture of the Eastern Region, just a small part, where the Heavenly Law or Power of Laws are similar. It's slowly penetrating through but it's still not deep enough, it will need more time. The first blood fiend race appearance was in the western region, the territory of humans, and also the location of the Dao Yuan Great Tribulation. In the northern region, there are a few places filled with the flow of aura, all the older heavenly realm warriors are heading over. Then we will welcome a whole new batch of deity realm experts, and the heavens Dao will grow stronger as well. The current nine regions have actually already shrunk due to all the great battles and losing land to the void. The Dao Yuan Great Tribulation is the time for the ancient battlegrounds to return, returning the nine realms to what it was. This will be the ninth Dao Yuan. All the ancient battlegrounds of the past nine Dao Yuan will return and the nine regions shall return to their original form. This must be the full cycle. These blood fiends are in the emperor realm. We plan to kill them separately so as to slow down their revival. 
but no matter how far away, they still manage to merge together and get stronger. There seems to be a rule within their revivals, the amount of blood fiends has to be at a certain amount. If we use the blood fiends as materials, I wonder if we can refine them into a pill. I will try it with my forging technique as well. With my current Buddhist power, this small ancient battleground, I will need a few thousands or maybe ten thousand years to purify it. Furthermore, the blood fiend race won't appear here. Fighting against Buddhist purifying power? That's too scary. In the ancient battlegrounds, the blood fiends are all above the emperor realm. Honorable realm's blood fiends are increasing as well. If this situation continues, heavenly realm experts will appear eventually. Although they haven't found the method to completely exterminate the blood fiends, they managed to find a suitable strategy. You are fellow disciples, get to know each other, and exchange your knowledge and experience. This tiger is also master's disciple? A demon race? Amiable and kind, wearing a white monk's robe free of dust. But I don't know why, it feels like he isn't that benevolent. I am Ding Yu, your eldest senior brother. Greetings, eldest senior brother. Let's just go to the training secret realm. Everyone can fight and get familiar with each other. Sounds good. I, as the eldest senior brother, can't even suppress my juniors. I am losing my face. I don't have to compete with Xiao Liang. We have always been on the same level and are unable to decide a winner between us. It's unexpected that Devil Buddha and Hu Tianya are actually evildoers. Qin Ning used to be the emperor of Great Qin. Her strength is definitely not weak. But Black Moon is unexpectedly strong. She is a tyrant in battle, imposing and overwhelming. Where is my dignity as the eldest senior brother? I must break through to the third stage of the heaven-reaching sword technique, to become a real eldest senior brother. Aren't the senior sisters too strong? I can't even resist, they can kill me instantly. Ahmed Ba, excellent, such a rare gathering, why not listen to me preach about Buddhism? Monk, we are fellow disciples, don't use such tricks, it's useless. Let's have a discussion about how to deal with the blood fiend race. My light of Buddhism can purify the blood fiend race, but my sword intent can also completely destroy the blood fiend race, but the blood fiend race, they can be killed but revive endlessly, but can we use the blood fiends against themselves? Or maybe control them? How do we use the blood fiend race against themselves? And how do we control them? Formations and Restrictions since the blood fiends can merge after they are destroyed, giving birth to a stronger blood fiend, then let's think of a quick and efficient method, where we can separate the blood fiends aura after the big battle. Then we can prevent them from merging, arrange a formation to trap them and slowly purify them. I think this is a more efficient method, at least in the early stages of the blood fiend race, it's not a bad strategy against them. So there is also a need for a purifying formation. But there are a few issues we need to solve such as a formation master, materials for the formation, and also how many blood fiend rays should we exterminate to get the correct proportion. For now, we just need to wait for the right time to insert the heavenly Tao into the eastern prefecture of the eastern region. If not for inserting into to become part of the law, the nine regions aura would have been much more chaotic. The deity realm experts in the ancient barren region are looking for treasures and exploring areas that have mysterious light rays. Chao Tiani is still crazy, anyone unlucky enough to run into him were all killed by him. If they have a 10,000 domains talisman, and the deity realm experts are exchanging information, it's not difficult to avoid Chao Tiani. Ren Changha is heading towards the center of the nine regions, near to the ancient barren region to set up some things. Those small races that have been hiding are also exiting their secret realm and returning to the northern region. Let the Black Moon House spread that the heavenly Tao contains good karma. No indiscriminate killing of the small races. No extermination of the small races. If not, you will be going against the heavenly Tao. Along with the appearance of the small races, the different kinds of living creatures in the northern region has increased, causing the heavenly Tao to change, and also a special method of rising. The day of the Daoyuan Great Tribulation is getting nearer as well. Qining, Xiangxing, Ding Yu and the other disciples are all getting ready to enter the tribulation and to deal with the blood fiend race. Black Moon has also started moving for the Heavenly Tao plan, making changes to the framework of Black Moon House, expanding their military forces, increasing their speed of gathering resources and pushing into the southern and western regions. At some moment, a muffled sound rang through the nine regions, 
the great tribulation descended. The time is now, the heavenly Tao can invade the eastern region. Occupying one-third of the heavenly law of the eastern prefecture in the eastern region, this is a big improvement. Northern prefecture of the western region. A great opportunity. Let's go quickly, there must be a lot of treasures inside. This is not an opportunity but a disaster, a disaster for the entire western region. Run, I need to run away. Our tribe is eternal. Kill our way out, feast on their flesh and blood, empower our race, the nine regions belongs to us, all living creatures are nothing but our food. Kill, kill these monsters. We ran into monsters. What monster are you? You dare to offend the human race? Human race? Overlord of the nine regions? Ha ha, soon you won't be, and you will be food for my race. You dare kill humans. Immediate extermination. My race is eternal, mere human race, you are just food, you dare to talk about exterminating my race? I will return soon, and exterminate your entire race. The blood fiend king is dead. Let's go, head to their nest and exterminate them, we can look for treasures at the same Tiodum you Epsilon. Let's go. How many of them died to form this blood lake? I will kill all of you, and eat you all. This blood fiend king is much stronger than before he died. He is just one step away from the deity realm. I will kill all of you, and eat you all. Kill. Kill them all, then burn them to ashes, don't give them the chance to revive. I am back, my food. My race is eternal. The blood fiend race is much more horrifying than I thought. In such a short time, he's already in the deity realm. The western region cannot fall, at least before the heavenly Tao invades it, it cannot fall into the hands of the blood fiend race. Or else, it will be a huge hindrance to the heavenly Tao plan. That's why, the western region's warriors have to be prepared beforehand, especially setting up defense for certain locations. Will the blood fiend race appear in the other prefectures of the western region? Quick, prepare for battle. Ding, your heavenly Tao has expanded, devouring the eastern prefecture in the eastern region, rewarding one stage of cultivation in the Tao realm. Finally, the heavenly Tao has expanded outside of the northern region devouring the first prefecture outside of it. The second target is the western region. It's in a dangerous state and can fall at any moment. I need to establish a foundation for it as soon as possible. I am not sure why. There are changes in the fortune of me and my race. It seems to be breaking apart, and there are still changes ongoing. Can any senior explain to me why this is happening? The specter race is about to perish. Not exactly. They are going to transform into the ghost race. Yusu is one of the ancient ancestors of the Spectre race, she only has two choices now, to continue living as the Spectre race and break off all relationship with the Ghost race. Or she can ride on the fortune of the Ghost race, and under the influence of their fortune, eventually transform into one of the Ghost race. The Spectre race is perishing? Your situation seems to be a sign of the Nine Regions Spectre race perishing. The Daoyuan Great Tribulation of the Nine Regions has started, it's hard to see through it. I keep having the feeling that something's not right with the current Daoyuan Great Tribulation of the Nine Regions. I need to appear to comfort Yusu, and also convince her to accept the fortune of the ghost race, making her transform and becoming part of the ghost. This is but a small tribulation, the reason you guys can't see through it isn't due to this tribulation, but because of the effects of the actual Great Tribulation. If you find anything strange, don't panic, don't worry about it. A Daoyuan Great Tribulation can affect Daoyuan Realm Experts. The thing that can affect a Daoyuan Realm Expert is. I am not sure whether it's good or bad, but there seems to be some changes to the fortune of the Devil Race. Even I, a Daoyuan Realm Expert, can't see through it, so it doesn't seem to be due to the Devil Race, but the influence of the Tribulation. I am purposely causing a misunderstanding for Motu so that the Daoyuan realm expert of the devil race will think that the changes in fortune is due to the tribulation. Regarding the problem of little friend Yusu, the specter race is going through a transformation, so the fortune will change as well, it's not a sign of extinction. Little friend Yusu, you can choose to ride the fortune after transformation, don't fight or resist it, follow the transformation of the fortune, it will eventually be the fortune of the specter race. Everything is good as long as it's not the specter race perishing. Senior, why is the Spectre race transforming? What will happen after the transformation? This is fate, an opportunity, rising up after transformation, 
It's a good thing. Thank you, senior, for your explanation. Little friend Yusu, did you encounter any issues from riding the fortune after the transformation of the specter race? Senior, it seems to be rejecting me. It's fine, I will give you a technique, which allows the specter race to merge together perfectly and go through the transformation together. She will ride the fortune and eventually become part of the ghost race. The Tao of Fortune is miraculous indeed. The technique that Senior gave is so exquisite and powerful, it's indeed a scary Senior that can guide Dao Yuan realm experts. Just a random small technique from him is incredibly useful to me. Envious, to actually get pointers from the group's big shot. Fellow Dao friends, is Chaos born from the Great Dao, or is the Great Dao born from Chaos? Do you have any insights? I am ashamed, my potential is poor, so I have no insights. Did chaos come first, or did the great Tao come first? I have no idea, my understanding of the Tao is still too shallow. Slow-witted old ghost home, to have come up empty-handed. Oh, reckless Motu, do you have any ideas? No. Fellow Tao friends, how long has it been since you entered the Tao Yuan realm? The Tao Yuan realm is special, your strength depends on the strength of the great Tao path you open. How do you judge the strength of the path? It depends on the length and width of the path. It has to be stable as well. In theory, the Daoyuan realm has no end point. You can continue to open a bigger and longer path. I am ashamed to say, but it's only been two Daoyuan for me, so a lot less than Brother Hong. How long is the path of Brother Chu? Chu Xian is the super big shot, an ancient existence. Brother Chu, can you let us fellow juniors learn some knowledge? What should I say? How big should it be to be a real expert? A super big shot? My potential is mediocre. After cultivating wholeheartedly, I only managed to open a fresh hundred thousand miles long and about ten thousand miles wide small and narrow path. I am ashamed. The group has no reaction, not even one reply. Was what I said too little? Did I destroy the image that I painstakingly built? For Daoyuan realm experts, it seems opening a few hundred thousand miles long Great Dao path isn't difficult at all. A few hundred thousand miles is actually a short distance to the Daoyuan realm experts. I was too careless. My image of a super big shot is crumbling. What should I do? How do I convince this group of path opening experts? Ding, you told a lie in front of the Daoyuan realm experts and frightened all of them, causing them to be unable to recover from their shock, rewarding a chaos path opening axe. Huh, is it a success? I didn't mess it up? This group of people were so frightened that they were in a daze. If I manage to frighten them, it means a path of a few hundred thousand of miles is really horrifying. My potential is poor, so opening a path is slow. I asked my fellow Dao friends to not laugh at me. A path that's more than a hundred thousand miles long? Did he say this is a poor potential? Then what are we? Worse than trash? The path I opened is greater than anyone in the same generation. It's a thousand miles long and slightly wider than one mile. But now, it seems like my path is so narrow and short. No, no, that's not even it. After all, Brother Chu describes his path as narrow and short. I worked so hard and the path I opened is only a few hundred of miles long. After listening to Chu Xian, I realized how wrong I was. I am worse than trash. Maybe Hong Yuan Chu can barely be considered trash. Opening a path that's hundred or thousand of miles and we thought of ourselves as the best of the best a horrifying existence within the path experts. Now I know. I am just a frog at the bottom of a well. Our final wish and goal was to open a path that's ten thousand miles long. But this big shot has opened a path that's a few hundred thousand miles long? Brother Chu, please receive my bow. Brother Chu is really a super expert. Meeting Brother Chu is indeed a great opportunity, that mysterious great tribulation, even the horrifying Brother Chu is paying attention to it, it must be really dangerous. I only opened such a short path, how can I survive the great tribulation? I need to hug the thigh of Brother Chu to get through it. Fellow Dao friends are too courteous. Fellow Dao friends, how about your paths? A few hundred thousand miles, that's very common, right? Opening a path that's a few hundred thousand miles long is very common. How is that possible? Should I tell the truth? What if he looked down on me? If Brother Chu thinks I am too useless and stops interacting with me, then what should I do? I am ashamed to say, but my potential is poor. My path is only about six hundred miles long. No wonder they got so frightened. 
the difference between hundreds and a few hundred thousand, it would be weird if they weren't frightened. Isn't opening a path too difficult? Or are they too useless? She only managed to open a few hundred miles long path even after two Daoyuan. Fellow Dao friends don't have to be discouraged. A few hundred miles is not bad as well. You girls are indeed more useless. Only a six hundred miles long path. My path is one thousand one hundred miles long. Pretty normal, I guess. Kun he opened his path later than the rest. It's only four hundred miles long. But he is the one who has spent the shortest amount of time doing it. Hong Yuan Chu has opened a 1,300 miles path surpassing Motu and the others. The Flood Dragon King is on par with Motu, Mahjan and the rest are around 8 or 900 miles long. Bing Luoxing is the oldest Daoyuan realm expert. Her path is about 3,000 miles long. As Long Jun, Gui Ran Ni Yi Jun are creatures born from the Great Dao, their Dao is special. Their strength depends on how much power they can draw from the Great Dao. Their strength isn't determined by the distance of the path they opened. How did Brother Chu open your path? You actually managed to open a few hundred thousand miles long path. Opening a path isn't difficult, just use an axe to split it open. Axe? Is this how you open a path? Maybe this is the level of a big shot. Opening a path is actually so relaxing? End the chat, let's check the system's reward. Chaos Path Opening Axe holds the power to open a path within chaos and can cut apart the Great Dao. A weapon to open paths, this is a precious treasure. Using this weapon to open the path will increase the speed and make the path wider. Its specialty is that it will allow you to open a path within chaos. The Chaos Path Opening Axe together with the Sky Splitting Pen and Ground Splitting Book is going to make a big difference. Other than opening a path, the axe is incredibly powerful as well, able to cut apart the Great Dao. When fighting against the Daoyuan realm expert, I can cut off his great Dao which will kill him as well. After the eastern prefecture of the eastern region has been absorbed into the heavenly Dao, it now has a foundation in the eastern region. I won't have to worry about the eastern region falling into the enemy's hand and causing a change in the heavenly law. The current issue is the western region. Since the great tribulation started, the blood fiend race has had tremendous momentum. It seems that we don't have any method to deal with them right now. Maybe we can be a bit more extreme. I need to let the Heavenly Dao absorb at least one-third of the Heavenly Law of the Western Prefecture of the Western Region before the Blood Fiend race appears. A mini version of the Great Dao is tangled around the Heavenly Dao talisman. Chu Xian withdrew one-third of the Heavenly Dao's power belonging to the North Region and sent it to the Western Region to devour the Western Prefecture. Western Region's Western Prefecture. Could it be that the Blood Fiend race is appearing? Is the Great Tribulation spreading to the Western region? There is some resistance in trying to devour one-third of the Western Prefecture. It's not too strong but it's still preventing the Heavenly Dao from devouring it. If the Great Dao starts to reject it, with the current power of the Heavenly Dao, it won't be able to resist, it will definitely collapse. Devouring one-third of the Heavenly Law of the Western region's Western Prefecture, it's done, the other matters can proceed slowly. I don't want to join the Tribulation. I just want to stay in seclusion peacefully. The tribulation has too many variables. The great Tao might notice me. Heavenly mirror of 10,000 days. Link up to the devil region. Increase the speed of converting the devil region into Buddhism. Blood drop rebirth technique. It will be very useful. Choose some experts from the Buddha race and condense a drop of rebirth blood for them. They can then die in battle with the heavenly devil race. They can then be reborn. Seeing such an event where they can't comprehend... The heavenly devil race will definitely panic. There will definitely be some that get affected and decide to join Buddhism. It's an extra life after all. One year later western region's northern prefecture. Heaven and earth trembles. Another ancient battleground appears in the northern prefecture, and the blood fiend race comes rushing out from it. Other than the northern prefecture, signs of an ancient battleground have also shown up in other prefectures of the western region. The human race while fighting against the invasion of the Blood Fiend race, didn't expect that the newly appeared Blood Fiends would fight against the previous group of Blood Fiends. There was an internal strife among the Blood Fiend race, many died, and those that revived got stronger and stronger. During the internal strife, an even stronger Blood Fiend King was born. The real threat was just about to begin. The united Blood Fiend race appeared. With the Blood Fiend King leading, they started their invasion. They broke through twelve of the human race's defense formations. 
It got more and more intense. Human territories were falling into their hands continuously. Retreat. One month later, the current head of the human king's ancient family died in battle. Countless commoners who didn't retreat in time and warriors below the emperor realm were all captured by the blood fiend race. They were kept in cages and raised as if they were mere livestocks. Sir, why do I get the feeling that you seem to be disturbed by some matters? Could it be you want to go out for a walk? I almost lost my composure. It must be the dog system trying to lure me out. I almost left my seclusion. Going out, why would I go out? Isn't this place nice? Composed, stay composed, mind should stay firm and the heart still. The matter's in the North Prefecture. Let's not pay attention to it. Let's focus on the Heavenly Dao plan. Sir, I am about to break through to the Heavenly Realm. Humph, go ahead, it's just the Heavenly Realm, don't be too proud. Millions of warriors died in the Northern Prefecture, half of it was covered in a thick blood-colored mist. Half a year later, in the Western Region's Northern Prefecture, blood rain started to fall. Countless warriors started crying, their eyes filled with despair. The territory of the human race's deity realm warriors has fallen. The great ancestor of the human king's ancient family, a fifth-stage deity realm expert, went to fight with the blood-fiend king and died in battle. On the same day, the first-rank son of fate of the northern prefecture, a young man with heaven-defying potential within the younger generation, also died in the battle with the blood-fiend race. Despair was overwhelming the human race of the northern prefecture. The son of fate of the northern prefecture has fallen. The fate of the western region's northern prefecture has changed. The blood fiend race has taken over. The heavenly law has changed as well due to it. Fortunately, I already laid a foundation for the western region's western prefecture. If not when the entire west region gets taken over, we will have to face the blood fiend race head on for the heavenly law to devour it. The blood fiend race is also the race that fights tribulation. They must have some special fate. Even the sons of fate are dying in this great tribulation. Ding, your maid, Siener, has broken through to the heavenly realm, rewarding one lump of chaos aura. Sir, I would like to return to the Sioux family for a while. Go ahead. Sir, I will return quickly. Your disciple, Ding Yu, has broken through to the heavenly realm, rewarding one lump of chaos aura. Ding Yu breaking through is as expected. With more chaos aura, the speed of tempering Dao law has increased. I am currently at the tenth stage of the Dao realm, another twenty-six stages to complete the cycle of the Dao realm and break through to the Dao Yuan realm. Without entering the Dao Yuan realm, I am not confident. The Great Tribulation can easily affect me. Western Region's Northern Prefecture As an overlord, the human race actually got destroyed to this degree. Fingdu Ghost King Become a member of our ghost race. You are the last remaining member of the Spectre race now. Do you think you can still help the Spectre race get stronger? You see it as well. The Great Tribulation is here. Even the human race is in this state. How is the Spectre race going to get through it? Only by transforming into the Ghost race can you be reborn. Maybe you are right. This is the end of the Spectre race. I shall transform into the Ghost race. Fingdu's Secret Realm Finally, the last member of the Spectre race has transformed into the Ghost race. From today onwards, the Ghost race will take on the fate of the Spectre race. They will fight for the fate belonging to the Ghost race in this great tribulation. The Ghost race will become a horrifying race within the Nine Regions. Barren Mountain A few soul avatars of the human race were gathering around the corpse of a blood fiend race. He was only at the first stage of the Emperor realm. These few soul avatars, all at the Heavenly realm, managed to luckily escape after their bodies were destroyed. Let's try it. If it works, this might be our way out. Stop cowering, I will do it. Soul Flame The evil aura is too strong. We need to purify it. The bead shrunk by a third. Purifying it is uses too much strength. We won't be able to handle it. We need to find a more efficient method to purify it. Pay attention. Remember to help out if needed. Whether we can refine this blood fiend and recover our bodies will depend on this. Don't worry. We will be paying attention. It's working. No, it's corroding the soul avatar. We can't strip it off the new body. Cut it off. Refining a blood fiend to recover our bodies isn't working, which means we are on our last leg, surviving with a soul avatar. One of these days, our soul avatar will dissipate. A ghastly and horrifying aura. Humph? Deity realm expert. Isn't this master from the specter race? 
But that's not right. The specter race doesn't have such a ghastly aura. These people could become part of the ghosts. Also, once they transform into the ghost race, they won't be weak at all. This is the perfect chance to strengthen the ghost race. As expected, the Great Tribulation is an opportunity. I am Fingdu Ghost King, from the Ghost Race. Ghost Race? As expected, a new race has appeared. I am created by the Ghost Ancestor. The Ghost Ancestor felt that the soul avatars were helpless, and thus created the method to create the Ghost Race. As long as they were cultivators, they can transform to become part of the Ghost Race. From today onwards, a soul avatar is no longer weak, it will become a powerful ghost. All of them used to be from the human race, they already transformed into the ghost race. Don't worry, you will retain your heart and consciousness, you are just living in another form, are you all willing to become the ghost race? If it's true, it might be our way out, we are already in such a situation, why not try transforming into the ghost race? The blood fiend race is the race that fights tribulations, they are also the targets of our ghost race, humans when you are alive, ghosts when you are dead, there's nothing wrong with it. Fine, I will be a ghost then. You all won't regret this decision. Find more soul avatars, transform them, strengthen the ghost race, and fight for fate in the great tribulation. Yes, ghost king. Fingdu's secret realm. The last member of the specter race has transformed into the ghost race, he is in the deity realm and was the strongest expert within the specter race. Now that he is part of the ghost race, the ghost race has another deity realm expert. Today, this king shall confer you as the protector of Fingdu. Thank you, ghost king. Let's go. Follow me to check out the blood fiend race. Fingdu's ghost king and protector, two deity realm experts headed towards the camp of the blood fiend race. Ding, the ghost race you created has fully converted the specter race, shouldering their fate. They are currently in the western region's northern prefecture expanding their power without restraint, converting fallen souls into ghosts, resulting in a huge increase in their population, rewarding the ghost Dao and the Fingdu ghost world. Has the specter race finally fully transformed into the ghost race? Let's check out the rewards. The reward this time is a world, the ghost world, it's different from the Fingdu secret realm. In the end, a secret realm is but a secret realm, it can't be compared to the ghost world. From now on, the Fingdu secret realm will belong to the ghost world, it can be a holy ground for the ghost race. Other than the ghost world, the other reward isn't just the ghost Dao law, but the ghost Dao, a difference of one word but the meaning is totally different. The ghost Dao is a newly born great Dao of ghosts, and also a foundational great Dao for the ghost race. As the ghost race gets stronger, their understanding of the Dao will also improve, which will in turn improve the ghost Dao. A great Dao, even if it's newly born, a great Dao isn't something a Dao law can compare to a great Dao that belongs to the ghost race. As the ghost race increases its population, with more ghosts understanding it, or a deeper understanding, all these will help the ghost Dao grow and improve. It will eventually become a true great Dao. Change the law of the ghost world. The consciousness and soul avatars that enter will first go into the Yellow Spring River. After going through the river's cleansing, they will become a newly born ghost race. Only experts will be able to resist the cleansing of the Yellow Spring River and maintain their consciousness. Experts should indeed have some privileges. Bring the troops of the ghost race to cultivate in the ghost world and gain an understanding of the ghost Dao. The ghost race already has their own independent world. This world seems like it's created solely for the ghost race, a world that belongs to us. The Fingdu Ghost King brought the troops into the ghost world and started to construct there. The Fingdu secret realm will stay in the ghost world and will be the main holy ground for the ghost race. Half a year later, Wang Luo broke through to the heavenly realm, rewarding a lump of chaos aura. Another half a year later, the devil Buddha broke through to the heavenly realm as well. Chu Xian already accumulated quite a bit of chaos aura. The speed of his Dao law tempering is increasing more and more. Devil Buddha already broke through. The arrangements in the devil region need to be done quickly. The devil race should also soon be a part of history. The only worry is whether we will attract the Tao realm experts of the devil race. Heavenly Devil Race, Western Region's Northern Prefecture The horror of the blood fiend race is now known, unkillable, inextinguishable. The more you kill, the stronger they get. There's no solution. Even the human race has lost again and again. Helpless against them, how do we deal with the blood fiend race? The Buddha race is attacking us. 
punish the Buddha race, exterminate the Buddha sect, kill the group of bald. Evildoers, lay down the butcher's knife, repent and be absolved of your crimes. Impudent, you are also part of the devil race. Amidba, I have seen through worldly affairs, becoming a Buddha, I am now part of the Buddha race. Since you are looking for death, I will fulfill your wish. My heart is with Buddha, with his protection, demons and devils will not be able to kill me. The monks from the Buddhist sect fell one after another. Won't die. Buddha's protection? I will personally watch how you die. All the experts from the Buddhist sect that came to provoke the devils died. Heavenly devil race, western region's northern prefecture. The bald heads that died, all of them came back to life. Cultivate Buddhism, as long as your heart is with Buddha, with his protection, you will be unkillable. How is this possible? Another blood fiend race? Three days later. Impossible. Tao realm. The same realm as the king of the devil race. Why does the Buddha race have such experts? The devil race is finished. The devil region is about to fall. I must escape quickly. The devil region is about to fall. Quickly escape. The great elder of the heavenly devil race led some of the strong believers of their race, some of their sons of fate and escaped from the secret realm. My devil race will not be exterminated, all these traitors, when the king returns, we will find them for payback. Something seems to be wrong with the devil race. Brother Chu, I keep having this feeling that something is wrong, the fate of the devil race seems to be changing, it's unceasing, what's going on? Here it comes. It's time to deceive MO2 and the rest of the devil race experts. Dao friend MO2, this is a heart tribulation, you are affected by the great tribulation. The devil race is dealing with the great tribulation, which is why their fate is changing, and the aura within the tribulation is spreading to the experts of the devil race, that's why this is happening. The aura of the great tribulation spreading? Brother Chu, what should I do? The great tribulation may not affect us now, but it has already started to affect the devil race. It will eventually affect us as well. Stabilize your Tao heart, don't be disturbed, as the aura spreads and thickens, the experts from the devil race will even have the misperception that the devil race is about to be exterminate. Not just the Daoyuan realm experts from the devil race. As long as you are in the Daoyuan realm, you need to stabilize your Tao heart. Don't be disturbed by the outside world, or else you will be facing the same dangers as the devil race. Brother Chu, will Dao realm experts be affected by this great tribulation as well? Even a Daoyuan realm expert has a chance of dying due to their Dao crumbling. Do you think a Dao realm expert won't be affected? Dao friend MO2, this great tribulation will affect all living creatures. Even Dao Yuan realm experts are in danger. Such a degree of great tribulation? This great tribulation, if we are not careful, all living creatures will die. You must pay attention. Brother MO2 and the two experts of the devil race, since the devil race is already affected by the aura of the tribulation and is amidst the changing of their fate, you have to restrain the people above the Tao realm in your race, so as not to be disturbed by the outside world and not to enter the tribulation. If they enter the tribulation at this moment, the devil race will become the first race to fight the tribulations, and also be the first group to enter the tribulation. That's why, you must stabilize your heart. Once you get through the heart tribulation, the dangers will be gone, and it will help you in facing tribulations in the future. Thank you Brother Chu for explaining. I will cooperate with the other experts in the devil race and restrain the Tao realm experts so that they do not leave the ancient grounds and enter the nine regions. Fine, it's fate that you manage to join the group. I will impart you a technique. You can pass it on to the Tao realm juniors so that they can undertake the fate of the devil race, stabilize their Tao hearts. They might even have the opportunity to go through a transformation as well. Thank you, Brother Chu. Chant it often. It will help to stabilize the Tao heart and should have some ability to get you through the tribulation. Chu Xian passed on the fate undertaking technique and the Buddhist Heart Sutra to MO2. It's impossible for the devil race to be completely exterminated. They are a special race unlike the specter race. But they will definitely be on their last leg, becoming a small race. A few days later. Brother Chu, I have passed on the technique to those little guys in the Tao realm. After learning the technique, they really managed to undertake the changing fate and stabilize their Tao hearts. Brother Chu is indeed unfathomable. That's good. Although MO2 is a troll, he still acts pretty quickly. 
Brother Chu, my devil race is not the strongest within the nine regions. Why are we the first to be affected? The human race is so strong. Why didn't they target the humans? Dao friend MO2, you may be a Daoyuan realm expert of the devil race. But the devil race of today isn't the pure-blooded devil race anymore. The devil race of the past was incomparably strong, but they have disappeared from the nine regions. The devil race in the nine regions now are just the remnants of the devil bloodline from before. There's such a secret within the devil race? Oh, so MO2, you are just a mixed blood. Another way to say it is. Brother Chu is saying we are just remnants of the devil bloodline from back then? That's why we got affected by the tribulation. Then where did the devil race from before go to? It's definitely due to the bloodline. That's why you were affected earlier than the others. That's something that happened ages ago. The devil race and some powerful races disappeared from the nine regions. Disapparence doesn't mean extinction. Maybe they will appear in the nine regions again. Dao Fren Chu, a few days ago when I was on the Great Dao, I encountered a lump of strange black energy. It seems to be able to contaminate the Great Dao. Do you know what it is? What's that? Could it be a sign of the Great Dao Tribulation? Yi Yu Jun is more active on the Great Dao compared to Goi Ran and Long Jun who prefers seclusion. He likes to explore the Great Dao so he will definitely have seen more things than them. What is that strange black energy exactly? It can't be said. Dao friend Yi Jun, you must be careful. Don't speak of it carelessly. Just the two of knowing about it is enough. Why are they being so secretive? What's going on? I, a Daoyuan realm expert, am actually like a fresh warrior. I don't know any secrets at all. Three years later. Master. Emojiye, you are back. How is it? Is the devil king still unwilling? Ha! This disciple is useless. The devil king is still adamant. What did you say? You went out for half a month, and you didn't manage to recruit any help? The great tribulation is coming. Where do you want the devil race to go? This subordinate is useless. Those kings that used to be on good terms with us, during this life and death moment, they kept delaying and didn't answer us. Ha! This is not your fault. You can go. My king. From what I see, Abbot Jinyi from the Dawei Temple really do want to help us. Why not? Shut up. If anyone mentions anything about Buddha in this hall again, you will be dismissed. Please remain calm, my king. This subordinate will leave. Is there anything important to report today? Wait. The people in attendance. Why is it less than 60% of the usual? My king. Yesterday you announced that no one can mention that religion, but many people already believed. Ah. Ridiculous. The devil and Buddha have never been able to exist together. Now this bunch of bald heads are actually parading right under my nose. Get me my blade. Today. My king, where are you going? Who dares to trespass into the hall? Amitba. How are you my king? Uncle. Even you. My king. You have to come to your senses. You may have no fate with Buddhism. But no hatred as well. Dangers are now approaching. My king should put down your prejudice. Think about the well-being of the devil race. If uncle is here to help speak up for those bald heads, then please return. Since ancient times, devils and Buddhas. Since ancient times? The devil region has never encountered such a disaster since ancient times. I am tired. You're dismissed. My king still has not returned to his senses. I will come again. Ha. Brother. Sister, why are you up? Go and rest quickly. Cough, cough, brother. Sister should focus on recovering. Brother, this will decide whether the devil race will live on. Do not base it on your personal. No. If I also join that bald head cult and chant sutra every day, who is going to take care of you? Brother. Cough. Why can't cough? You listen to me. Cough. Okay, fine. Sister should rest. Hum? Who is that? Who are you? Report your name. Trespassers will be killed. No reaction. Invader. Archers, get ready. Observation Tower, report. 
Invader is alone. Hit by two arrows, is down on the ground. Humph. It's just one person, and you made such a fuss. Retreat. Wait. Leader. Leader. The invader. You. When did you climb up? Ah. Uh, huh. Green-eyed ghost? Isn't it? Over? Report, 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 report. Great king. The border is in a state of emergency. Speak. The Kushui Pass has fallen into enemy hands. The enemies have invaded our territory. Their numbers and identities are unknown. There is only one soldier who fled and managed to return seriously injured. Where is he? Bring me Tomicron him. How's the situation? Great King, the patient's situation is stable for now. It's only a superficial wound. But the other wounds are unable to be healed. He's entirely in a coma. This wound. It's the same as the one my younger sister received when she returned. Just what exactly is this? This could be a good chance to fully understand my younger sister's injury as well. Messenger. Yes. Gather the troops. Get ready for war. Go. Protect the demon realm. What? Report. Great King. The city gate has fallen into the enemy's hands. So fast. What happened? The enemies. The enemies can't be killed. It turns out that there is a problem. We must protect the demon palace no matter what. My younger sister is still here. Royal City Defending Force. Follow me and engage with the enemy forces. Protect the demon palace. Don't let them pass. What? Just now I clearly... Crap. There's not enough time. Uncle Wong. Why are you? Uncle Wong. I'm fine. Hurry up and go save the demon palace. Don't worry. Look at the demon palace. Everyone. The demon realm's safety today is in our hands. Get into formation. Yen Botamo. Jindo Moni. Rei Lu Hong Yen, Be Lato Bo Dan Nihong. Yen Botama, Jindo Do Moni. Rei Lu Hong Yen, Be La Bo Dan Nihong. Yen Be La Tobo, Dan Nihong. Uncle Wang. This light is? Why can it annihilate these monsters? Even my blade couldn't. These are only bloodthirsty creatures. They lack a normal physical body because they were born only as a result of the tribulation's arrival with no father or mother and only brought up by nature. They cannot be killed with ordinary weapons. Born as a result of the tribulation? That's right. So that's why their body isn't made out of flesh, but rather materialized from the resentment of heaven and earth. If you want to thoroughly elemy them, you can't just behead them, you must guide them to salvation. Fortunately, Buddhism can do just that. So, does that mean the injuries caused by the blood fiends can be cured using Buddhism? Of course. I know why you have that question. You're worried about Emo Shi's condition, right? That's right, Uncle Wang. To try to heal Emo Eleven, you've been desperately protecting the Demon Palace but refusing to cooperate with the Buddhists. Do you know how many of your clansmen's lives have been wasted? If it weren't for Master Juni's Master's warning, it'd be hard for the demon realm to avoid today's disaster. Master Junyi brought the seven great Buddhists to the demon realm to set up this glorious golden light formation for three days, to tide over this crisis. I acknowledge my mistake. I'm willing to make Buddhism into the honored state religion from today onward. I'll change the demon realm into a Buddhist realm. Ding dong! Your disciple has transformed the demon realm into a Buddhist one carrying the fate of the demon clan and being reborn in the great Daoyuan tribulation. As a result, you have been rewarded with the increase of one stage of the Tao realm. Huh? What's going on right now? That's about it, master. I understand converting devils to Buddhas, there's nothing better. However, keep this in mind. The great tribulation has just begun, do not be careless. Disciple will definitely remember. I will take my leave. Take care, master. Ha, huh, so that's what happened. Sir, the tea is ready. Sir, ever since I came back, why do you always look so troubled? D. 
Did you hit a bottleneck with your cultivation? That's not the case. My cultivation just had an improvement yesterday. It's about the great tribulation. Great tribulation? But there was just good news that came from the Buddha region. It's just a coincidence. It just so happens that the Buddhist techniques can restrain the blood fiend race. But as for the other regions. But this tribulation concerns all creatures underneath the heavens. Why is Sir worrying about it alone? Siener, you don't know about this but the reason I lured all the ancient battlegrounds out was to take control of the heaven Dao law. If I want to control the heaven Dao, then everything underneath the heavens is my problem as well. Oh, I see what you're saying. I noticed that cultivating has become much easier since the AP parents of the ancient battlegrounds, which I attribute to Sir. Since you can change the heaven Dao law, why not make the blood fiend race weaker, or just make them disappear? Siena is indeed smart. Straight to the point. But the problem is, the blood fiend race is born from tribulations, it's not within the control of the heaven Dao. For the blood fiend race to be under the jurisdiction of the heaven Dao, they first have to belong to the heaven Dao. But, if the blood fiend race were to belong to the heaven Dao, then I would definitely lose control over part of it. Even losing all control of the heaven Dao is possible. Oh, it does indeed seem like a tricky situation. That's right. Aren't the Buddhas still around? Let them go deal with the blood fiend race. I am afraid that will be difficult. Dealing with the blood fiend race in their region alone consumes 70% of their resources. Ah. This won't do, that won't do. What are we going to do? Erm. This isn't Siena's problem. Siena doesn't have to worry. The Great Tribulation has only just started. We still have time to Omicron think about it. Three days later. Young Lord. Young Lord you shoo. That was more than a month ago. Young Lord Uncle Chin he. His son is very sick, is barging in. Uncle Chin is well versed in medicine. Why would he come here to see a doctor? Nephew you shoo. Save my son. It's been three days since Bo you had a high fever. I don't know what to do. In this town, the decent clinics are just the two of us. Quickly save my child. If this uncle has failed you in any matters, I hope nephew can forgive me. Uncle Chin, what are you saying? Since you are at my clinic then you are a patient, and I treat everyone the same. Uncle Chin, what happened to little brother Bo Yu? A few days ago, he went to the mountain to pluck medicinal plants with one of the workers. They were attacked by a wild beast on the way back. Bo Yu got injured then. Wild beast attack? Where's the wound? On the right leg, the wound is strange as well. I have tried seven or eight different treatments, but there's no improvement. This isn't a wild beast attack. Uncle Chin, I understand now. Leave Bo Yu with me. You can go back and have a rest. You must be tired from the past few days. It's okay nephew, I'm alright. If I can save my son, I don't mind enduring a few more days. Young master, maybe this father and son pair is here to commit fraud. He is just eager to save his son and has overworked himself. Prepare a room for them and help them and so they can rest. Young master, this Uncle Chen always slanders you for the sake of stealing our business. Just ignore him. The reason I opened a clinic and practiced medicine is to help the people. What kind of principle is it to ignore a patient? Go get ready. I am still not skilled enough. I need to look through some ancient records. Second day. Young master, it's time to eat. Ah, uh, it started again. Let's just leave it at the door. When a difficult illness strikes, the young master goes into seclusion mode, not sleeping or eating. Third day. Ah, uh, the young master didn't eat yesterday. Ah, uh, but the young master said not to disturb him when he is in his study. Forget about it. Young master is a cultivator as well. Not eating for a day shouldn't be a problem simply swap the food for something new. Young master, you can't do this. Normally it's just two or three days so it's fine. But this is already the fifth day.